Hi guys, I wanted to make a building and zone guide. So this is just a little guide that will tell people what buildings do what, what zones have what, what's where, why is it there, etc, etc. So let's get started. We'll go from left to right at the starting screen. So first of all, this is the guild hall. This is straight up just your guild hall. So you ac access your guild stuff from here. When you're in a guild, you can see your quests, you can see your members, yada, yada, yada. That's what that building is. This second building is Marketplace. The reason it's greyed out is because it's not there yet. Uh, it's This is in development. No one really knows anything about it. It'll be there in the future. The This building over here is Magical Shot. Oh, it even says it unlocks at level 15. That's nice. So yeah, at level 15, this unlocks. You get items out of it. So every hour it resets and, <clears throat> and the items refresh. So you have a chance to get a whole bunch of items, a whole variety of things, glyphs, uh, stones, what else can you get? Keys, a whole bunch of things, really useful things, always good to check magic, uh, magic shop. Next one is this building, this is the arena. This I believe unlocks at level 5 or 6 or so. Now, arena, you always want to just do it every day. That's, that's the arena. <laughs> if you have points, use them. The uh, red arena energy, always use them. Do your arena points, build up your reputation points, and you're going to be a happy chappy because you'll be able to buy your PvP books with that. Sorry, books with PvP energy, I mean. Uh, this little building here is... <laughs> it's called the Dragon Utopia, I never knew that. <laughs> this gives you uh, seals or crystals, whatever, every 12 hours, I think. Uh, so does this. Oh, this is obviously the crystal one. Yeah, they just give you like a token amount. I think it's this gives you like four seals or something. It's like really, I don't know. You can't upgrade these. You can't do anything with them. They're just there. Maybe they'll be maybe they'll be upgraded in the future. But yep, not much to say about those. <laughs> Every twelve hours, it just gives you a tiny, tiny amount of crystals and seals, and that's it. This building here is your. You can access your character from here, so you can change your skills. You can upgrade your skills. You can change what tree you go through by this means if you want to. Um, yeah, you can only have one tree, you can only uh, build up one tree, and that's it. You only get enough points to actually go through one whole entire tree, and you have to kind of pick each time you level up. Uh, you can also change your name up here, and you can change what you look like, etc. That's what this building is. Uh, this building is really cool. This one is your summoning stone altar, as well as chest altar. So you open your chests here, you open special fragments and stones here, and you get everything here. This is where it all goes down. This is where RNG takes place. Next one is the Menagerie. This is literally just an encyclopedia of all the creatures that are in the game. It always takes a bit to load <laughs> the different elements, but yeah, you just go through them. So you can kind of click on a creature and say, ah, excellent. This creature does this, this creature does this. So if someone tells you, if you ask someone a question like, hey, what's a good healer early game? And they're like, man, you should probably check out Water Nymph. So you go, water, and then you literally just have to painfully look for it. <laughs> Hopefully they'll tell you what's a two star, and then you can just narrow it down to the two stars. And it's, yeah, it's, it's somewhere here, I'm not even going to try. So, yeah, that's what the Menagerie is. Uh, this is, the, I think it's Colosseum, no, Underground, Underground Entrance. No one knows what it is, this is another development thing, doesn't unlock. So it's going to be there in the future, that's all there is to it. And this is the Training Grounds, again, this is a development thing, no one knows what it does, it's just there as a placeholder. So that's what those are. Let's go to the next area. These are the Shattered Islands, these are like the scenario stages, like the, the leveling up missions. This isn't this isn't the end game. This is just like the cute little story that they've made, where you go through the phases, the different areas, and you follow the little scripted story, and it's it's cute, and you know you kill dragons and yada yada yada, and then you go to wastelands and you have to try to. I, I, won't, I won't spoil it actually, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's cute. The story is kind of fun. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say about these. Each of these stars represent what. Uh, difficulty you've finished, so I think that one's normal, one star is normal, two star is advanced, three star is nightmare. Obviously nightmare is the highest, and that's all there is to say about him. Let's go to Dragon Mist Islands. So, Dragon Mist Islands is the endgame. 
you can totally go here early on as well because all of these dungeons have sort of a one th level 1 through 10 type of thing, so you can totally go here early on and farm it early on. It's just a matter of you can't farm the high level stuff yet. And the high level stuff is, for example, in the glyph. Whoopsie, a glyph and tower. If you go to the glyph dungeons, you'll notice that if you click on level 1, you can see it drops only blue and greens. If you click on level 8, you'll see, oh, it drops purples, yellows, and there's not blues. So there's no blues, there's just greens, yellows, and purples. Once you go to 10, the chances for greens are a lot less. They're still there, I don't know why, but <laughs> they're still there, but the chances are really low. So you get yellows and purples a whole bunch. So yeah, Cliff Dungeon, Elemental Tower, very similar. You get, in the higher ends, you get chance of books as well, which is neat. Yeah. And then there's Tower of Trials, which refreshes every single month. That's why there's a little timer on it. So you have to complete it within the month, otherwise it refreshes and you lose your chance to get the little uh, level 10 kind of reward. So every, every 10 levels, you get a neat little reward. And obviously it builds up. Here you get three purple gifts, which is really nice. Uh, books. Nice amount of seals. And then level 100, doo -doo -doo -doo, you get a nice little purple stone. So, Tower of Trials, always worth doing. These little, um, these specific levels, which are random each time, uh, they have a chance of dropping these, these special fragments, primal fragments, they call them. Now, when you go to the shop, you'll be able to see that you can buy certain creatures and they need these fragments. Obviously, the orange ones are the, like, super legendary ones. These ones are the middle ones. Those ones are the newbie ones. So blue ones give you nat 2s, greens give you nat 3s, and the orange one gives you, nat, gives you nat 4. So orange ones are super rare though, so you won't get much of them. But yeah. Now, all of these other things, these are all coming soon type of things. Uh, this is a secret island. This opens up on some events, where they'll specifically say, go to the secret island, it's open now, and you can farm stuff. And there's also a certain thing that opens up here too, which they just randomly float it away when the event isn't happening, but when it's there, again, it's an event. It's an event area. Uh, as for these, what is that? Oh, it doesn't even actually say what they are. They actually used to. Spoiler. But yeah. So, hopefully they'll show everyone kind of what is around, and hopefully the explanation's alright. Um, yeah, have a good day, guys.